It's Governor Charlie Baker defending his administration's hiring practices to five investigates after a Baker donor is forced to resign from his top position with the state. Hi, everybody. Maria Stefanos. And I'm Ann Harding. Investigative reporter Mike Bodet broke the story, the first DCR party scandal back in August, and is digging up new information tonight. Take a look. This was the last straw for DCR Deputy Commissioner Matthew Sisk. Video obtained by five investigates showing Sisk driving through Boston on two different occasions, lights and sirens blaring to get through traffic. I thought it was incredibly bad judgment. Sisk resigned on Friday, just weeks after the state suspended him and his boss, DCR Commissioner Leo Roy, for using state funds for a private July 3rd party. Partygoers were driven in golf carts rented by the state to the VIP area at the Hat Shell. Here's Sis greeting guests at the party held at a condo owned by Republican National Committee man Ron Kaufman. Sisk himself is on the Republican State Committee and has donated to Baker's campaign. Are we going to be hearing about more bad apples in DCR? Look, I, uh, I've known Matt Sis for a long time and was appalled by what he did. Um, I certainly don't think you'll see anybody doing anything like that again. But Five Investigates has been looking at some of DCR's hires and found numerous ties to the Massachusetts Republican Party, along with questionable backgrounds. In addition to CISC, at least four other past or present Republican State Committee members are employed at DCR, including Christine Cedroni, the Community Relations Manager. The Quincy Attorney's Law License was suspended in 2014 over misusing client funds. Cedroni says her political affiliation had nothing to do with her getting the job. And then there's Carol Sanchez, a certified public accountant and self-described Baker friend who helped on his campaign. She was originally hired as DCR commissioner in April 2015, despite a drunk driving arrest just a few weeks earlier. Sanchez admitted to sufficient facts and the case was continued without a finding. She resigned in November but says it had nothing to do with her arrest and insists she was qualified for the job. Is DCR a dumping ground for politically connected Republicans? DCR is a, an organization that um, has had a couple of unfortunate incidents. I consider DCR uh, to be a terrific organization that does good work. The governor tells me he believes anyone who is hired by his administration is qualified for the job. We did reach out to the ousted deputy DCR commissioner, but haven't heard back. Mike Bodette, Five Investigates. And